Good morning, friends. I want you to find SketchUp for schools. Once you find it, I'd like you to launch the G Suite Marketplace. We can't launch from the app bar, so that's why we launch it from here. Today's project is going to be to add a nifty window. So let's start by deleting our dude, and let's remake our house. We could load our previous house, but I want to make a new one. Click and let go of the mouse button. Click on the rectangle choice. Click and let go. Click and make it permanent. This is what's called using a click and release program. You click the mouse button and then you let go. Click the push pull choice and then move down to the offset choice. Offset is awesome because it lets us click on the rectangle and release and then stretch it out to make what we want our walls to look like. Once you've got your walls selected, click the select tool and let's delete the middle. Let's do push pull which is the button on the top, also the letter P if you're a shortcut person, and then lift up your nifty walls. Let's cut out a door by clicking the rectangle, clicking the rectangle, picking where you want to draw it. I'm going to just draw mine somewhere kind of middle-ish, make it look like a door, and then I'm going to switch to the orbit tool, and I'm going to look underneath. And this is important because I want to see this corner. I'm going to try and make sure you understand this. I'm going to click the face. I'm going to click push pull. And then I'm going to click on that face and look how far I move my mouse. See that red tip? If you touch the tip to the end point that I mentioned or to this corner right here, it snaps to that exact size and cuts out your cool door area. Let's go to the side and make a window area quick. Same, make a rectangle, draw a rectangle. I'm going to once again switch to the orbit so I can look from underneath. So I'm clicking and rotating. I want to push this wall into this edge. So I'm going to use that corner with the push-pull tool. All right, let's make this a little more magical. I'm going to scroll out by rolling the wheel out. And I'm going to draw a rectangle on the ground, just out in space. And I'm going to make it close to the size of that window. So it's just ish. I'm going to click push-pull, and I'm going to lift that up a distance. And then here comes the important part. I am going to orbit so I can see only that shape. And I'm going to grab that entire shape. And then I'm going to right-click and make it a component. I'll call it win because it's going to be my window. And then I'm going to move over to the materials and I'm going to find the awesome glass materials. When you click glass and mirrors, it gives you the options. These are my two favorites. You can experiment with whatever you want. And I'm going to paint that entire piece so it looks like glass and we can see through it. I'm going to switch to the move tool and this is another one of those important moments. I want to connect my window to that corner right there, so I'm going to grab this corner right here. It snaps to the endpoints. I'm going to roll in and see how when you get to the exact right spot, it'll snap in place. I'm going to make it fit with another amazing tool called Scale. Because I made it a component, when I click it, it's all one piece and it doesn't interact really with our building now. And I can use these middle handles to lift it straight up to the size I want. Don't do the end handles because then it stretches about the corners. I want to just lift it straight up. So I'm doing the middle handle. And then I'm doing the middle handle. Now I can't see that one real well. So I'm just going to rotate around so I can see it better from this side. I'm going to press S to cheat and get to my scale handle faster. And then it infers the middle handle and I can snap in. Now once again, I'm using the little points to get to the exact corner. And just like that, I've created an awesome window. It does look like my window is too thick. So once again, I'm going to scale about the middle and bring it in the way I want. And if I wanted it to make it look like I had a window sill, check it out. I can push it in halfway. And now if I look at it from the other side, I've got a window sill in my building. Let's paint our house super quick. 
uh, click once on the house, right click and choose select, and let's do all connected. So the whole building is now selected, and let's go up instead of glass and find the cool brick and cladding. Pick whatever one you want and paint your house in one quick, easy step. You could use that same technique to add more doors and windows real quickly though I'm going to do one more cool trick with you. Right click the front of your house and do select all connected. That just grabbed everything but the window because it's a separate component. We're going to make this what we call a group. Let's add a roof to our building using the pencil tool. Slide along the middle of our new group until you find the midpoint of the group. Notice now it turns purple instead of our old teal color. And use the pencil to draw a line on the blue axis to start our roof. Connect that corner. Hit escape to cancel out of the pencil. Go to the other corner. And then you need one more click because of the group we did to get rid of that. Let's press the eraser tool and get rid of that middle line. And then I want the right or the white face out, so I'm going to do reverse faces. And I've got the inside face in now. And let's do push pull, and let's pull that roof all the way across. Once again, I'm moving the red tip all the way down so I can touch the red tip to the corner, and it snaps to the exact size. Let's go back to our material super quick and find the roofing, which is just down below the glass and let's paint our roof. I want that on the sides and I'm going to go back to the brick cladding for the front piece so that the front and back match. It is important to note that this does not save to the cloud so when you're done and happy with your project you can save it. Give it a name. I'm going to call mine house 2 because I've made a couple of these. You can call it whatever you want. Make sure you pick the folder you want to put it in. And now your project is saved. Notice it turns gray when it is completed. Thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. And most important, I hope you mastered those new tools we used, the scale tool, and then also making component windows with the glass feature. Thanks for watching. Please, if you get a chance, like, comment, and subscribe.